Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try this Good and Gather. This one is the Stuffed Mini Rigatone in a marinara sauce with hidden vegetables. Um, it's made with ricotta and romano cheeses, tomatoes, carrots, and butternut squash. No artificial flavors or preservatives. We bought this at Target. It was $2.99, which isn't too awfully bad, I guess. There's what it looks like. It looks like it's geared more towards kids. If you just look at the packaging and just the fact that they're hiding the vegetables, you would think this is more of a kid's meal, but you know. You can eat it as an adult as well. Uh, it's eight ounces or 227 grams. And let's see, there's the information. Gotta go up a little bit. There you go. Uh, 290 calories for the whole bowl. And there's the other info if you would like. And as always, Tammy puts the picture of these at the end of the video. So uh, if you want a better look, you can. So directions for cooking. Let's see, this is frozen. So you keep it frozen until it's ready to, to make. Remove the bowl from the cart and pierce them to vent. Microwave for two and a half minutes. Stir um, and microwave uncovered and one minute longer. So you're basically gonna pierce the film to vent, microwave for two and a half minutes, remove the film, um, stir it up, and then do it one more minute until it's hot throughout and then let it sit for a minute. So that's pretty straightforward. So there's what it looks like. I can see why they get you to do it halfway through, stir it up, because if you didn't, all that pasta would get dried out and hard. So, so that's a good thing. So I'll be, I'm gonna poke a hole in this to vent it and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I haven't done the final stir, but it, um, yeah, looks pretty good. The sauce was a little runnier when I stirred up the, after the two and a half minutes, that final minute thickened it up just a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit. None of the pasta feels dried out, so that's good, um, yeah. So in the pasta, let me cut one in half. I don't know if they're if they're just there or if they're filled. They maybe actually be filled with something, but I don't know but I'll be able to tell that. Now, yeah, you can see there's a little white cheese right there. So they're they're filled pastas. So I'm gonna take this over the table and uh, we'll try it out. All right, I know they're stuffed um, rigatoni. I know they're stuffed, but I, the reason I said I wonder if they're stuffed is they don't look like they were stuffed. They do have the pinched ends. I, I thought they, well, you know, they say they're stuffed. So I wanted to double check. That's why I cut one in half. They're not really thick and puffy. That's why I was saying they didn't look like they were stuffed. Um, honestly, you really can't tell that there's much in there either. They're very, they're very, very thin. Yeah, it's almost all pasta. You might get a little cheese in the middle. I can't taste it at all. I might, all I can taste is the spaghetti or the spaghetti sauce, the tomato sauce and the pasta. I like a spaghetti sauce. It's a the sauce is a sweeter sauce. So if you like a sweeter um, marinara spaghetti type sauce, I think you'll like this. The pasta is a little tough on the ends where it's pinched together. It's not bad in the center part, but where they're pinched together to hold the filling in, it's a little tough. Um, I do not taste the carrots and the butternut squash. So they did a good job of covering that flavor up, but the tomato sauce is pretty strong. So that's not surprising that you can't taste the carrots and stuff because the tomato sauce that does come off is pretty strong. Um, this tastes like a kid's spaghetti meal. That's what it tastes like. Um, if you've seen kids cuisine or um, even banquet spaghetti meals. This is very, very similar to that. Although I think the banquet one has um, pieces of hamburger meat in there. I can't swear to it, but I think it does. Um, this reminds me of that flavor. Generally frozen spaghetti dinners have a, they're a sweeter sauce. Um, they have a lot of oregano in there. Uh, that's what this tastes like. Um, it's not bad. It's not better or worse than any other frozen pasta meal, honestly. It, it's, it's kind of in the middle. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. If you've got kids that you're trying to get a little more carrots in their diet, then go for it. But um, there's other meals that kids could eat too. So, and as an adult, for $3, there's better flavored and more flavorful meals out there than this. Um, I don't know, I, I think I would choose something else over this. I still wanna give it a three out of five because the flavor, it's okay. But um, I think there's better options for $3 if you're an adult and you're not trying to get hidden vegetables. So, uh, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.